Okay guys, we are back with our fifth JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about increment or decrement in the values of the variables. So, now let's start with this one. In this case, we have a variable S1 with the value of 3. And we have, we are printing, basically printing that variable so that the result you can see that on your screen that my final term grade is 3 so I want to increase it you know to about 4 we can simply do this by s1 is equal to s1 plus 1 and you can see that the working that it will be increased to 4 you can see that but you know this is not a good way to do this we can just simply do this s1 plus plus in computer programming uh, what has been preferred is by the way that you know the shorter the code the more preference it will get so if your code is much short the computer have to do less you know less working uh, you and the execution will be very fast so we will do the increment by just simply s1 plus plus and it means that what the meaning of s1 plus plus is s1 is equal to s1 plus 1 you know two different statements you know by, by look they look different but the working is same this one is shorter and this one is a little bit longer so we will give the preference to the shorter one and that is the basically computer programming is a good programmer always use the shortest code shortest possible code so that now let's see will it increase it or not and you can see that it is the main force which means that it incremented with one so in the case we want to increase about you know four or five you know three plus four or three plus five so for that purpose we have to use the old thing you know s1 is equal to s1 plus five that is also a you know a really nice thing but now let's see there's another way but before that one now let's see with this one here you can see it has been increased to it so now a question might appear in your mind that why we you know write s1 here so now let's remove this one and now let's see and you can see that it remains 3 because s1 plus 5 it is it is adding you know 3 uh, it, it is adding 5 into the value of s13 but it it doesn't storing it anywhere so no it, the increment has been happening but there is no you know no, no place where that result can be stored so for that purpose we will write the variable in which we want to store our values and we are telling that take the s1 and you know add the value of s1 with 5 and store that in s1 so it means you know that you have about two bananas in your right hand and one banana in your left hand and you are telling the browser that you know take the banana one banana from the left hand put it on the right right hand and you have three in your right hand right hand so basically that's really a a basic concept but a useful you know you have to tell the browser that where the result should be stored in this case i want to store the result of s1's value three plus five and i want to store it in s1 so i basically increase the value of s1 by five now let's see how it looks like here you can see it has been increased to 8 so as we have done you know s1 plus plus increment we can also decrease it by 1 by doing just minus minus so it will decrease the value of s1 by 1 now let's go to our web our browser now let's refresh the page and you can see that it has been decreased to 2 now copy and paste this one again and you can see that it will be decreased to 1 you know 3 minus 1 equal to 2 and 2 minus 1 equal to 1 and you can see that here by refreshing your web page so that is the concept of increment and decrement and that is it for this tutorial 
we are going to cover another very important topic in our next tutorial so don't forget to watch that one so take care of yourself and goodbye follow us on youtube facebook twitter google plus visit our website www.sartreviews.com and then go to learn section from menu don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more.